people going to war, people killing one another to try to bring peace, and it just doesn't make any sense to me. And a lot of the times I'm really sensitive to that energy, and I feel angry and upset. And anyways, today I'm having a social media free day. So no Facebook, no Instagram. Hey there, it's Tara. For the last few days, I've been feeling really affected by what's been going on in the world. <laughs> like, I'm really disillusioned with humanity and humans as a whole. It happens all the time. This is nothing new. But because of that, today I'm spending a full day social media free. Because it's so easy for me, because a lot of the work I do is on social media, for me to use the excuse of, oh, I have to be on social media because it's my work. I have to do it. I have no choice. And then I get sucked in to the endless Facebook scroll where I see all of these posts, those things that usually lure me in. And then I, I look up at the clock an hour later and I'm like, where did my hour go? Like, what have I been doing? Nothing productive. One of the reasons that I spent a lot of my time out in nature, far removed from humanity, and one of the reasons that I choose to live away from the city and spending most of my time in nature is because I can't really handle our society. I have trouble with humanity as a whole. And the last couple of days looking online and seeing these terrorist attacks in Paris where a lot of people died, innocent people were killed, and seeing that the solution to that problem of people being killed is to go and kill more people, I just need to be away from social media and I need to be away from the news, it's one of the main reasons that I choose not to have a television because I just don't want to be immersed in that negative, fear-mongering culture that presides over our world. So today I'm going to focus on things that are important to me and let you guys know how my day without social media goes and what I notice from this day. One of the things that I notice when I'm not sucked into social media and the endless Facebook and Instagram scroll is that I have so much more time in my day. I can spend my time doing things that are important to me, like yoga and meditation, and doing things that make me feel good all around, or working on filming videos, or editing videos, or connecting with friends, or spending time in nature, finishing up my Fruity Freeze challenge, which is going to launch on December 1st, and preparing for all of that. The second thing that I notice is that I can control my mood and my attitude and the level of happiness I feel much more easily when I don't get sucked into social media. The reality is a lot of the stuff that's on social media is just used to distract us and make us feel frightened and make us feel powerless, especially with what's been going on the last few days. And when I choose to separate myself from that, I feel the joy of life of just being grateful to be alive and be able to spend my time how I want to. And I would so much rather focus on that energy than focus on the fear mongering that's going on online right now. The third thing I notice is that I feel so much more inspired and creative. When I get sucked into social media and I just do that endless Facebook scroll, I feel like my creativity is like sucked out of me. So when I connect back with myself, and spend my time doing things that inspire me and things that matter to me, I feel so much more creativity. I have so many more ideas of what I want to share with the world or the next video that I'm going to do. I find that being away from social media as a whole, at least for a couple of days a week, really helps me to gain perspective on my life and really focus on what's important for me. So if anything that I've said in this video resonates with you, I have a challenge. I want you to try going without all social media for one day and see how it impacts your life. See how it makes you feel. Are you more productive? Are you more inspired? And let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in tomorrow's next daily vlog.